welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, um, this video is going to be what I ate in Europe. Um, if you guys have not seen yet, go watch all the vlogs from Europe. Um, this video is way, way, way overdue because I did film all this like a month ago. But so much has happened and lately and I just kind of like will be doing, I will be doing filming and updating an update video of just like what's going to be coming up soon, what's been going on with me lately, why I haven't posted, etc, etc. You guys will be seeing that soon because I'm going to film that right now. But um, for the time being, go watch everything I ate in Europe. Enjoy. What she ate while in Europe. Okay, so they call this pizza Pizza Sunlight, um, but obviously it's just a Hawaiian pizza, but still very good, 10 out of 10. Okay, so for breakfast that next morning, I had pancakes. It was delicious. I loved it. It's just gorgeous too. Like the aesthetic is like so great. I just, I want it again. I ended up having a crepe while down by the square. It was pretty good. Definitely could have been better. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Dinner was pretty good, however, I forgot to record almost all of it. Um, I will say that the bread was pretty good. I will give it a good 7 out of 10, and the rest of the dinner was also a good 7 out of 10. Okay, so this was one of the drinks that I had when my rest of my family got to town, and it was actually really good. It was like a fizzy lemonade, pretty much. It was really good, 10 out of 10. Okay, and I almost forgot to record until my mom reminded me we just had burgers, and honestly, I've been thinking about this burger ever since, like the rest of the trip I was thinking about it, so 10 out of 10. Okay, so this salad was pretty good, however, I don't know, I just couldn't find something on the menu that I really wanted, so I ended up with the salad, and it was pretty good, so I'll give it a good 8 out of 10. Okay, back at it again with some pancakes. This one was also very aesthetically pleasing, and it had blueberries in it. Blueberry pancakes are not my ideal choice, but it was still delicious, so definitely a good 9 out of 10. Okay, so this was the first meal we had in Rome. I forgot to record a lot of the meals, so please, I am so sorry. But I had bruschetta, which is like an all-time favorite of mine. However, I do feel like the bruschetta from Red Rock in Salt Lake is just so good. This one, however, was really good as well, so I'm going to give that one a 7 out of 10. And then the salad I had could have been a lot better, and I just couldn't finish it, so I'm going to give it a nice good, let's say, 5 out of 10. Okay, so I had gelato, like two times a day while we were in Rome and I'm going to give it a good 10 out of 10 because I just kept going back because it was delicious okay so we had a fancy dinner that night or one of the nights and I ended up getting lamb I don't know I've had it before in Park City but this one was also very very good so 10 out of 10 okay so we were walking to the Coliseum and we stopped at a little place and got pizza and my family got pastas but the pizza was delicious um however later in this you'll see my favorite pizza of the whole trip still a good um 8 out of 10 though Okay, so this was the first night in Paris, and we had a little fancier dinner. My best friend was in Paris at the same time, so she joined us. We all had burgers. They were delicious, about as good as the ones from Amsterdam, so 10 out of 10 for that. I did end up having a crepe that night as well, and I honestly will say it was not that good. I was not my favorite, so I'm going to give it a good 2 out of 10. Now, this is the pizza that I was talking about. There is a seasoning on it of some sort that is just ultimately so, so good. I loved it. 10 out of freaking 10. Okay, so I did end up having another burger. Um, I don't know what my deal was on the trip, but I just wanted burgers like the whole time. Um, but this one was pretty good as well. I'll give it a nice good 8 out of 10. And then here is me trying the strawberry sorbet. I guess I'll just tell you myself what I thought. Ten out of ten. Delish. So unfortunately, I forgot to record all of the foods we had in London. However, I did get a chance to record the one and only. Um, fish and chips this was what i had the first night i did also have fish and chips later on which i forgot to record this one was definitely a good like seven or eight out of ten but the one i had later in the trip was 100 percent 10 out of 10 
Hi guys, um, I hope you guys really liked that. And there's not really much else to say besides check out all the vlogs, subscribe, subscribe to the vlog channel, check out my Instagram, check out my TikTok. And last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or whenever you're watching this.